In this video, we will discuss labeling parcels. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file labelingparcels.twg, located in the training folder as discussed in the Working With This Dataset video. Civil 3D provides easy methods to labeling parcels. If we navigate to the Settings tab first, let's navigate to the Parcel category and let's examine what makes up a label style. If we expand the label styles category, you have area labels, then you have line labels and curve labels. If we expand the line labels, you'll notice we have some pre existing label styles here. If you expand the span bearing a distance with crow's feet label style, you'll notice that it has two child label styles. Basically, these two label styles are reading this one, except they turn off one of the other parts for the main label here. Let's go ahead and double click span bearing a distance, and let's navigate to the different tabs here. If we navigate to the general tab, you of course define the layer that the label style should go on, as well as the orientation for the label style, and so on. The layout tab is the guts of the label. If you look at the drop down, every label can be a table tag if necessary. And then we have the different components for the label style here. As you can see with the drop down over here, you can basically add in anything that you ever need for your label per your standards. Let's look at bearing and distance. Let's go ahead and click on the contents property and click the ellipsis button here. And this is how it's going to get the bearing over distance. If you look at the different properties, click the arrow here with those properties set to add it to the text component editor. Don't forget you control the text height, the attachment, as well as any of the other properties necessary for the label style. Don't forget the drag state as well that helps you control if you need to drag a label out and how you want it to actually be displayed when you pull it out. Would you like a leader with an arrowhead? Or maybe you perhaps rather have it as composed. That way when you drag it out, it stays in the same exact way that it was created. If we look at our drawing, our labels look very sloppy. This happened when we created the parcels and we automatically added labels. Let's go ahead and remove these and then we can neatly put them in as we need to. Select one of the labels, then right click and choose Select Similar. Delete them. Now navigate to the Annotate tab, Label and Tables panel, and then click the Add Labels drop down, Parcel, and then let's click on the Add Parcel Labels. Don't forget if you select any of the default tools, it'll use the default label style defined in that command setting. If it's not the label style you want, you'll have to delete it and then recreate it. Let's click on Add Parcel Labels. If you look at the label types, you can do Single Segment, Multiple Segment, Replace Multiple Segment, an area label or replace an area label. So let's first do a single segment and let's see what it does. We'll change our label style to bearing over distance with crow's feet. And let's go ahead and click on add here. At the command line window, you're prompted to select a point on the entity. So let's go ahead and just pick over here and you'll notice that there is our label style with the crow's feet and everything. Now let's say though, you wanted to label all the segments of a parcel. So let's click on the multiple segment, click add here, now what you're being prompted for is the area label. So you would simply select these and then choose the direction that you want them to go in. So we'll pick the default clockwise. And as you can see, it's fairly straightforward to creating the labels for your parcels and all their segments. If you need to replace an area label, let's go ahead and click on replace area. And let's go ahead and click on the name square foot and acres. Click add, select that one, press enter. And now that label is replaced. Now, as far as editing labels once they are placed, Civil 3D provides many ways that you can do this. If you need to, let's say, pull out a label because it's in a congested area, simply select it and then select one of the grips. And now, as you can see, it simply points to that. If you need to add additional leader vertices, you can do so by clicking here if you need to go around some additional objects. If, let's say, your label is not displaying the correct bearing, select your label and then simply click on reverse label and you'll notice it now says Northwest instead of Southeast. Select it again to reverse it. And if you wanna let's say do bearing over distance here, you could click on flip label and it will just simply flip the label. If let's say you want to actually override a default label, let's say you want this one to say length equals over here, you could simply select this label and click on edit label text and select the component you wanna edit. And now you're actually overriding the default label style. So I'll press enter here, type in length equals, click OK, and now you have that displayed as an override for that label style. Should you want to revert back to the label styles created, simply click on clear label text and it reverts back to the original label style. 